<clears throat> okay, the first thing we're going to do now that we have the automate open is to take off this corrugated tube and set this aside because we're going to need to put the new pigtail through there. So you get the Mokemate kit and you want to get the pigtail which looks like this and just carefully unwrap it, unwrap it and I want to tuck the one end down over in here and what I'm going to do is try to fish it through the hole here and the hole is big enough so you should be able to get the test clips through very carefully one by one and the ground cable the ground wire I should say it's not really a cable part of a bigger cable Okay, and what we want to do is we want to stretch this out all the way to about the length that the motor cable shrink tube is already set. So let's go ahead and do that. Right about there. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the spiral wrap and wrap this stuff around here and place it a corrugated tube, which I think is a little easier. And you want to get about two or three maybe four turns on first and then we're going to slide it through the the housing bracket here so that's going to be our protection so the wires don't chafe against the metal case finish wrapping it tight One more turn here. Bingo. So it should look just like that. And then what you'll do with the female end is just tuck it down inside the bracket for now until we're ready to connect it. So now we're ready to make the electrical connection. Really easy. Just take one of these clip leads, either one, and you want to hook it to the outside terminal of R3. And I'll zoom in here so that you can see R3. Well, I guess we can't zoom while we're recording. So we're going to clip it to the outside of R3. Actually, yes, outside of R3. Okay, and he's on there. And the other one, we're gonna hook to the inside terminal of R2. I don't know if you could see it, but it's over here. And uh, you wanna pay particular attention to the angle of the hook. You want the hook to angle out toward the motor so it's easier to get off if you have to take this off. So he just clips on there and that's it. And then there's one ground wire that we have to hook up and it's going to go under the the innermost terminal here which is actually marked half B. So you'll need an electronic screwdriver or some sort of a small screwdriver and you open this screw up about three or four turns. The screw's not going to come out and then you take the black wire of the Mokemate test set, which should already be pre-tinned so it doesn't fray. And you want to get it right up in there, like that, in the same hole. Try to get the two wires side by side because the clamp has a bar that clamps down equally across the slot. And you hold those in and you just tighten the screw up good and tight. And the most important part of the insulation is make sure these uh, wires are tight. Uh, give them a gentle tug, both of them the existing sensor wire and the new black wire you put in and that's it and now we're ready to test testing is relatively easy we're gonna go flip the the automate up over on its top or on its feet like it's supposed to and I'm gonna go take the pedal and throw it on the floor And plugging in and it's actually really easy. I don't know if you can see down there. You just reach in there and pull out that female pigtail. It's like that. Take the plug. It is somewhat polarized. Doesn't need to be. It's just the way the plugs are. Uh, there's a wide one and a narrow one. Just line up the uh, the little dots, the bigger dots on the little clamping pin that goes through them. Plug it in. Nice thing about this is it tucks away right underneath of it, like that. And the legs on that the automator actually tall enough that, I don't know if you can see it, that the cable fits through here 
nice without uh, smushing it. So it makes for a real nice, smart little setup out of the way, just like that. And uh, power cord. So we'll grab the power cord, scoot the guy over, plug the power cord in, turn the automate on, and then press the foot pedal. Release the foot pedal. Press the foot pedal. Release the foot pedal. And that's it.